Hello all, this is The One Nerd, and you're watching another edition of The Worst Unboxing Ever. <laughs> and this, uh, this particular Worst Boxing Ever is uh, the wet hair edition. I did not uh, cut my hair at all. I just uh, got out of the shower recently, and I uh, got a delivery, and I thought, I really don't want to wait. I want to get this open right away, because I'm always so excited uh, to get new stuff, especially this particular line. Uh, so I thought that I would just go ahead and uh, record at least opening the uh, initial box uh, now, uh, so we got our next shipment of AEW uh, unrivaled figures. Uh, this time we got Wave Four, and unlike the last couple, I did go ahead and get the full wave this time. And at the time of uh, watching this, Wave Five actually went up on sale uh, for pre-order, which I did order the full wave of that as well. Um, probably the last time I'm going to order a full wave. Uh, if they have uh, repeats, because this has some repeats of guys I already have, and a couple of them, I don't know, one I kind of do want because they're updated figures, you know, because they, because the first wave that we got apparently didn't have great skin tone or what have you, so, and these ones have new accessories, so, yeah, but I won't do it forever. Like, for example, I did not get the, pre-order the new Cody with the TNT title, because I don't need another Cody. And the TNT title is just the uh, prototype version. So, again, don't really need that either. So, let's take a look here. All right. Looks like they're doing a bit better job of packing it this time. Not that I really care about the, uh, the packaging uh, for this, since I'm a uh, let it breathe guy. But it's just nice to, to know for other people, you know. All right. So... Wow, these are already looking great. All right, so first off, looks like did not get the uh, the chase or rare, whichever it is, for one of the figures. Uh, but first we got Matt Hardy, which is an amazing looking figure. I can't wait to get this guy open and compare him to the, because uh, this is the first time I'll be able to do an actual comparison between a WWE Elite. Can't wait to get this guy open and compare him to the uh, Elite version of the uh, broken Matt Hardy figure. Uh, we got uh, Sammy Guevara with his, uh, he's back there with his accessories, uh, with his jacket, which I'm glad it, uh, he had. They didn't show off the jacket the first time they showed him, but I'm glad he does have uh, that particular jacket. Uh, let's see, what else do we have? Uh, we got Kenny Omega. Got our new Kenny, a bit of a uh, different Kenny. This is the this is the one that I'm going to uh, display uh, full front right now with the uh, with the title. Ooh. Got ones that are very very excited about. Uh, we got Santana and Ortiz, which we'll get into these particular figures uh, when we actually unbox them, we actually open them and look forward to. Especially this one. Not entirely happy with this one, at least not every part of it, but we'll get to that uh, when we actually open up these figures. And last but not least, let's check to see which Cody we got. Ah, well, just a regular Cody, but whatever. You know, he's an updated Cody uh, with, a new, uh, with a new face and with an actual shirt. I would have really preferred the chase or the rare uh, with Cody, although it's not something that I would go out of my way to pay extra for. But if I did get it, because he does come with the shirt um, that is the, uh, the the Shadow Moses, the Metal Gear uh, inspired shirt, I would have preferred that one. But again, it's not a figure that I'm gonna go out of my way and spend like $100 uh, to get. This is, this is fine. This has got like the updated uh, version of him, which I will definitely replace uh, that Cody on there. So now that we have actually gotten these babies out of the package and looked over the initial uh, packaging of everything. Everything looks pretty good. Uh, but again, the real thing is when we actually get these open. And again, I have some uh, thoughts about at least one of these uh, figures in here. But uh, while I'm unpackaging everything, and while I'm uh, getting them all set up so we can go over to the ring and actually look closer at these figures, and uh, hopefully while I get my hair a little bit uh, more presentable, uh, why don't you enjoy these messages? <laughs> Be right back. That Joe's surrounded by Cobras. Yeah, but that Joe's Sergeant Slaughter. He's joined the G.I. Joe team. So we're celebrating by giving away Sergeant Slaughter action figures. But you can't buy them in stores. You've got to earn them. 
Here's how. Collect five Sergeant Slaughter certificates or call the number on the certificate and Sergeant Slaughter will tell you how to get in on the action with only four certificates. There's a $1 handling charge. See details in specially marked packages. G.I. Joe. Nobody tastes on Cobras better than Sergeant Slaughter. Yeah, Joe! Only we have a military attack group like the Combaticons. Transform Combaticons and attack the new Autobot City. Autobots, this is our new city, Metroplex. It can transform into a battle station and then transform again into the gigantic Metroplex himself. But the Combaticons can combine to form Bruticus. Decepticons attack. Transform Metroplex. The Transformers. The Transformers from Hasbro. Let's pretend you're a burger. Huh? First, we'll stick you in a box. Hey! And put you under a heat lamp. <laughs> For how long? Who knows? Now, wouldn't you rather be a Burrito Supreme from Taco Bell? It's made with only fresh ingredients and only after you order it. So it never sits around like some burgers. Can I come out now? Hey! Hey! Taco Bell, the cure for the common meal. Now, back to our show. All right, and welcome back, everyone, uh, to the continuation of this unboxing. And this really is the worst unboxing ever, because if you can believe it, uh, during the break, I actually found out that uh, <laughs> I I uh, have been fired from my uh, current employer. Uh, I, that's uh, it's kind of an odd way to uh, come back from... Uh, this uh, commercial, but uh, uh, yes, as I uh, just found out, uh, again, worst worst unboxing ever. Uh, I am uh, currently unemployed uh, as of now, uh, but uh, we're gonna go ahead and uh, power through uh, this particular unboxing and show off everything here. Uh, first, I actually wanna go over uh, a figure that I have Definitely look forward to in this particular wave and look forward to since he uh, showed up in AEW. Uh, first figure we're going to be looking at is uh, Matt Hardy uh, in his uh, broken form. Um, does look good. It's got the uh, the red streak. It actually looks a lot better than uh, the face scan. looks a lot better than the uh, the AEW. I'm sorry, the WWE version. Excuse me. Uh, it's just have different hands. And he actually got some really great hands. Uh, obviously, he has the uh, delete uh, finger, uh, but he also has this little hand here, which uh, is nice to give you a uh, different range of like dramatic poses and what have you. And what I also like about this uh, figure, let's open up his jacket a little bit so you can see some of the plastic on there I need to get rid of. Uh, what I also like about this figure is that if you look at the back of the coat, it actually has like a little bit of a uh, of a molded um, of a molded look, so it'll make it look like wavy. Now, if we now let's compare that. Let's compare that here because I told you we're finally doing comparisons. Let's compare that to the uh, the WWE version. Whoops, I'm having some people fall here because I'm moving the ring. Um, obviously, Elite figure is a little, little bit shorter, and I do prefer the head scan. Not to say that the WWE head scan is terrible, but it's just kind of a weird uh, looking pose here. While um, the AEW one is more um dynamic but i would i would say both are uh both work pretty well uh, but obviously um the aw figure is definitely better um in certain ways uh than that obviously i, I would say don't you know don't throw out your uh original uh woken slash broken figure uh, but i think these work uh pretty well uh another another actual comparison that we can do is with the included accessories because both Matt Hardy's actually do come with a version of Vanguard 1. We do have our AEW Vanguard 1 and we have our uh, WWE Vanguard 1 both with holograms. Obviously the big difference in here is that how different the hologram is. However, they have uh, they seem to have sacrificed the hologram for the actual Vanguard because uh, if you see here on WWE Vanguard the propellers actually move, and it is a little bit smaller. But on Vanguard AW, 
just one big old piece of plastic. The propellers do not move, but you get the, you sacrifice that for this really good looking hologram that not only is it a great looking hologram, but if you notice, it's basically just a regular torso and head from like the actual figure. So you can, you know, make the, make the head turn instead of just a, you know, just a flat little, oh, that's all tangled up. Just a flat little uh, thing here. So if this is, even though, even though, again, this is the Vanguard one is just a, you know, this kind of does, doesn't go anywhere with that. You do sacrifice that for this great looking uh, hologram uh, here. So definitely a big improvement uh, in regards to uh, Vanguard one uh, for this. Here, let me get these guys. Uh, let me tell you, let me tell you, I'll be happy. Uh, I'll be happy when. AW or Jazzwares, I should say, finally does uh, get the stands because these guys fall over all the time. Let's hope I'll be, I'll actually have a job in order to uh, for those uh, by the time that happens. Uh, the next figure we're going to be looking at, let's do another comparison here for a, uh, for an older figure that's gotten a new version. Uh, we have a new Cody Rhodes. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stop. I'm just going to, I'm just going to stop trying to put them up here because it's it's impossible uh we got a new cody with a new head and of course a uh, soft goods uh t-shirt there has his little uh elite on the boots and of course you got a much better uh, face scan uh, if we compare that to the previous cody rhodes figure Obviously, uh, it's hard to tell in this particular lighting, but the skin tone is a little bit better, and uh, I do think the face is more... Um, re I did talk about how the face did uh, look kind of weird, but it still looks like Cody. But this one, I think, has a more Cody-looking uh, face uh, there. You will notice that this figure still does not have the tattoo, so uh, purists will need to buy at least one more Cody Rhodes figure in order to get his uh, truly updated form. Uh, more than likely, that will be the um, the, t the the one with the TNT Championship, since that that does have not only the TNT Championship but also Cody uh, with the uh, his his weird neck tattoo. That was definitely a good decision uh, to get, and certainly not a uh, midlife crisis of some sort. Uh, let's see here, and going in with our other um, older figure that we're redoing here. Uh, we have a new Cody, a uh, new Kenny Omega, excuse me. This one also has uh, a very good look uh, to it, not just because it, um, you know, it looks a little bit better than the uh, older figure, which you can see back there, which I will be replacing uh, this figure as the central uh, Kenny with the title. Because what's great about this is that much like with uh, Matt Hardy, he not only has, he also has, comes with another uh, sort of a, uh, another hand that's good for posing. So, you know, he, he's setting him up with the, uh, with his finger, finger guns, and you can also set his hand into a more posable form and not just a generic uh, gripping or fist uh, sort of things. So that's kind of a nice feature uh, with these particular figures is that they're they're really uh, really doing a lot more with the hands on these, and of course the uh, the tights uh, look great. These are more tights that he would wear, you know, every day as opposed to you know a pay per view uh, event like the uh, the previous one uh, with the Sword Art Online uh, inspired coat. So this is definitely a good one. More than likely the last Cody and the last Kenny that I'll be getting. Um, Again, I mentioned before that this is probably going to be the last full set if they continue with this whole thing of uh, putting in older figures, which obviously they will. So now let's go ahead and get into the new figures, guys we have not uh, seen yet. First up, we have the recently uh, left from the inner circle and a guy in a supposedly a lot of controversy and supposedly with a lot of heat. Uh, we have our Sammy Guevara. Uh, Sam Guevara does look great with his removable sunglasses, of course. Uh, the only thing that that kind of uh, draws me out of this figure is the fact that he is stuck with that uh, with the tongue out pose the whole time. It's kind of the same with uh, with uh, Pentagon, where he also has the tongue out thing. But uh, you know, it's everything else. It, I mean, it's still a great looking face. Uh, he's got the hair nice. 
He's got a nice uh, rubbery uh, jacket here. Got the uh, the tights. And what's what's great about this is that there's no indication whatsoever that he is in any way affiliated with Inner Circle, uh, which obviously uh, helps now, uh, but uh, is not going to help uh, a lot. Uh, with another figure, uh, just in case. Let's get his sunglasses back on him. Um, and speaking of, we also have uh, with the with his uh, add-ons, we do have some uh, signs here. The hit me up sign. Now, what's weird about this is that it actually does come with uh, multiple signs. However, it is just multiple versions of the the same sign, which I thought was weird. They're not even like double sided. I thought that was odd that it's just the same thing. I mean, his gimmick is, you know, during the commercial break, he would always, you know, have different things written on them. I'm not really sure the point of just doing multiple ones with the same thing on it. Maybe it was a mistake in mine. I don't know. I haven't seen anybody else uh, show these. I don't know, but uh, it's a little odd. I mean, it's a nice extra. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna poo-poo an extra like uh, signs like that. I'm just saying it's a little weird. And now to really the, I think the most anticipated, I could, I could say, uh, figures in this. Uh, we have uh, Santana and Ortiz. Put these up here. Now these are some. Let me tell you. These are some great looking figures. I mean, the the attention to detail in the and the entrance gear, everything like that with the uh, extra hands, with the extra heads. We have an extra head here with the with the eye patch. We have an extra head here in more of a uh, you know that's with the with the with the, the braids here, so not the big old uh, afro like that. And they do come with different accessories, uh, like this flag, which, I mean, this is this is a soft goods flag. You know, this isn't some crappy, you know, paper flag like you would see in some WWE figures. This isn't this is an actual like, soft goods flag. Like this is a nice value. Not only that, but you also get um, a, a sock of balls, very nice here, and a, a sandal or a uh, chancla, I believe it's uh, pronounced. If I'm getting that wrong, I apologize. Um, obviously, these are, two great, these are two great figures. However, I'm sure that you can tell that there is something, it's really not great on one of these figures here, and that is this one uh, right here, is that this figure, this t-shirt here, this is, this is just part of the body. This is a painted on t-shirt, which sucks for a lot of different reasons. I mean, you would see painted on t-shirts in this in this regard on basic figures in WWE. And for some reason, they have decided to... I, again, I, it, it's, it sucks. It's not like they don't have a lot of uh, accessories. I mean, this figure has an extra head. It has the sandal. It has all of that. It, it has a lot of great value. But what kind of ruins the figure is the fact that it does have the, uh, the painted on inner circle t-shirt here. So if there should ever come a time... If there should ever come a time where uh, uh, Santana, Santana or, and Ortiz should leave the inner circle or the inner circle should change or what have you, you, I mean, this figure becomes instantly out of date, which is not uncommon. Nice little details here with the individual toe shoes, which is not uncommon with, with certain figures, but I don't know. It just... Again, it ha it does have a lot of value. I don't want to I don't want to say that with all the little with the extra accessories and obviously the extra heads look incredible. I don't want to poo poo this figure too much, but it that that is a a big glaring issue with this figure is that painted on T-shirt. It just makes it look a little bit uh, cheap because of that because of, because of the connotation with other uh with other wrestling figures, especially w WWE figures that have had uh, similar. Uh, shirts like that in just a very basic line. But overall, obviously this figure is great. Obviously this whole wave is great. So let's go ahead and actually get these uh, figures up. I'm sure you'll also notice that I did end up getting the uh, the new Young Bucks. I decided to get them because a friend of mine uh, was traveling. He likes to travel to different places in order to get uh, certain finds. Uh, for different things, and he just happened to come across the uh, that particular wave of AEW figures while he was in the store, 
So I just decided to say, hey, could you pick me up? Young Bucks, I might as well get them. Uh, so he, you know, picked them up for me and obviously I'm grateful uh, for that. But again, I'm, I'm really loving how this series is going. And I certainly hope that I will be in a position uh, coming up that I will be able to afford uh, these figures going forward. I do already have, I have mentioned at the beginning of the video, I do already have uh, Wave 5 pre-ordered. So that's in the bag. That's already done. <coughs> Excuse me. That cannot be undone. But, you know, obviously things could happen. So I don't want to say for sure. Not obviously, the only way that I would not get the figures uh, in that particular set is if they were to cancel them. I'm not really sure why Ringside Collectibles would cancel it or anything else like that. But obviously, we'll see. But I'm optimistic at this point that I will be able to get something. I mean, I have to be, honestly. I have to be optimistic at this point because uh, it's kind of hitting me all at once, this whole thing that uh, had a lot of plans and a lot of ambition that uh, is kind of gone right now. There's never going to be a time where I try to do this full time because I know that I don't have the the reach I don't have the you know the I guess the ability to do something like this full time but uh, I will still try my best to do this to keep up the quality or lack thereof in this particular series case um, in these particular videos until I'm able to find something else I do appreciate anyone who is watching my videos, whether it be in whatever series. Obviously, for a little bit, at least hopefully for a little bit, I'm going to have a bit more time to um, work on these videos in between uh, filling out applications and looking for a new job. I really hope that I don't have to get desperate enough that I have to do something uh, you know, a, a more menial job, not to, you know, discredit anyone who works in the food service industry, but uh, that's, a, that's a road I've traveled before and I'd rather not uh, go back to that. But obviously if I need to, I won't really have uh, much of a choice uh, in that. It's going to fall over. I just know it. There we go. Katie's looking a lot better, but uh, we'll see what happens. But uh, now that I've wasted enough time uh, doing this so that I can set up the figures. I appreciate uh, everyone watching. Uh, if you have been able to find these figures uh, in stores yet, or if you've gotten them yourselves uh, from Ringside Collectibles or uh, what have you, or if you're looking forward to another figure in the wave, um, you know, or figures that haven't even been announced yet, uh, there's a lot going on in the world of AEW right now as I'm recording this video. Uh, Big Show, aka Big uh, Paul White, has just uh, signed on as a commentator for AEW, so big things are happening in the world of wrestling and AEW, so there's a lot to be excited for. So if you... Um, like this video, obviously uh, like, share, and subscribe for more content, not just this, uh, but also uh, other things that I have planned uh, for the channel and hope to uh, keep up even through this uh, tough time that I am going through. Um, until next time, this is The One Nerd, and I hope you have a good one. Uh, have a good one, stay safe, just everyone out there. Just appreciate everything, appreciate every little thing.